Today, we are searching for an old abandoned tow truck to upgrade into the craziest off-road record that you have ever seen. But before we can do that, we need to find several key parts to make this build complete. Yeah, you guys are seeing this, right? I am towing my own tow truck, and you're probably wondering why am I towing my own tow truck, and why does it look damaged? Well, what happened was we were up in the mountains trying to do an off-road recovery, and things went wrong, guys. And you know, normally we have success in this business, but I'll be lying if I say that every day is a good day. Like sometimes things just go horribly wrong and that's basically what happened here. So let me put this truck to the side and I will explain what's going on today. Oh man, this thing looks terrible. I'm gonna have to call John in and see if he can repair this somehow. But basically what happened was we was up in the mountains performing an off-road recovery. This guy got stuck in a terrible place and I was trying to get his vehicle and honestly, I risked it and I ended up messing up my truck as you guys can see. Now, the heavy wrecker was able to save my truck but the heavy wrecker is too big to rescue the vehicle that I'm trying to tow. So we need a new tow truck guys but not just any tow truck we need something that can go off road and something that can handle like very bad terrain and i think i have an idea so i'm gonna park this inside bay number five and we'll let john hopefully he'll be able to fix it i'll tell him to go take a look at it when he gets in but um yeah we gotta go get an off-road truck guys everything we have none of these things can go off road and handle the type of terrain that we got to deal with so i have an idea i have a friend he has a boat and he found a bunch of like old vehicles and stuff like that but one of them was very interesting and i think that we can repair it and turn it into an off-road vehicle so before we can do that we have to get our trailer ready so let's put that away and the vehicle that we're gonna be picking up today it does not not run so we are gonna need our fork loader so let's hop into this and let's get the forks up and we are ready to go so yeah like I was saying the vehicle doesn't run and it's actually in a very strange place <laughs> believe it or not it's on a boat so he used like some type of boat to fish them out of the water and he has a bunch of interesting vehicles but one of them I want to buy from him and I'm going to pretty much use this to unload the boat and then we'll put the new truck onto this and then we'll tow everything back to the shop and see if we can repair it's going to be easier said than done so the whole point of what we're doing today guys is to recover the vehicle that made my tow truck get destroyed even though we failed and our truck got wrecked we are not giving up so first thing we got to do is get a truck to haul the trailer and that one over there i think it's being worked on right now so we will take this one and uh, let's get it started perfect it's running so let's head up so we're gonna get our truck attached to the trailer and then we will head up to the boat and pick up the vehicle that we're gonna turn into our new off-road wrecker i'm excited now my friend he's not gonna want to give this thing to me for free unfortunately you know business is business but he said he'll give it to me for about ten thousand dollars honestly i think that's way too much money so i'm gonna see if i can you know negotiate with him a little bit maybe i can get it for a cheaper price i mean according to him the thing was sitting in the bottom of like the lake or something like that i don't even know where he got it from the lake or the ocean somewhere wherever he got it from it was sitting at the bottom of a large body of water so because of that i don't think it's worth 10k anymore i'm sure it's damaged and it's going to need a lot of repairs so because of that i think we should get it for a discount but let's head up there and see what ends up happening exiting the highway and as i was driving i kind of realized something guys this thing was not in the ocean and that's because oh whoa nearly <laughs> caused an accident there i shouldn't have done that but yeah like i was saying i just realized this vehicle was not out in the ocean because the boat is in the alamo sea and as far as i know there's really no way to get from the alamo sea out into the ocean so the vehicles that he recovered must have been somewhere in this lake 
and I think he used like a giant crane or something like that to pick them up and place them onto the boats. But everything will probably make more sense once we get on scene. So now we're heading off road. Gotta slow it down a little bit before we mess up this truck. But we're heading off road so that we can get to the boat docks. It should be up here somewhere. I'm not sure how far I'm going to be able to go with my truck. I may have to leave the truck on the main road and then continue in with the loader. And you know what? I made a wrong turn, but I can see the boat off in the distance. So let's get this thing backed up. Back onto the main road. Located the boat. I'm just pulling a U-turn and we're gonna park the truck and trailer up right over here on the side of the road. Our truck should be okay right there for now. So let's take this down and let's hop into the loader. Then we'll get that. I'm gonna lift up the arm and slowly back this thing up. And it looks like we have to go down, whoa, okay. Interesting, I was gonna say, it looks like we have to go down this gate. I don't know what that guy was doing. He just kind of broke right through it, but I guess I might as well come through this way since he already opened it up for us. Looks like this property may be foreclosed or something, I don't know. But anyway, here's the boat. Making our way down the hill, and Alex should be out here somewhere. I see his truck, and there he goes. I see him. So it looks like he is trying to unload these vehicles. I'll grab the first one for him. There we got the first vehicle. I'm going to try to just bring it up here. Oh, we're sliding. I don't know if we're gonna make this one. Oh, barely got this thing out of here. I'll set it right here for him. And now we're gonna get the one that we came here for. So now that we got that one down, let's go back and get vehicle that we're really interested in. Looks like he has some interesting stuff on this boat. Hey, Alex. How's it going? What you got going on here, man? Oh, just, um out on the water, picking some stuff up, and I came across some cars in the water, so. Okay, I'm actually looking for something just like this. It looks like it's smoking a bit. How, how much you want for it again? Ten thousand. Ten thousand dollars. Alex, you're killing me, man. This thing was under the sea. It probably don't even run. It looks like it's having some type of chemical reaction. It's probably going to catch on fire any moment now. Come on, man. Give give me a better price. I give you I give you four thousand dollars. What about nine thousand? Nine thousand. Come on, man. All right. How how about this, Alex? We're friends. We gotta take care of each other, right? How about I don't say anything about that stuff back there, and you sell it to me for five thousand. How about that? Yeah, we can make a deal with five thousand. Five thousand. All right. Cool. Here you go. There you go. Nice Thank doing you. business with you. And I'll grab my truck and I'll I'll load it up. Appreciate it, man. Well, also, no I saw that other vehicle was there too. I kind of just threw it up there for you. It's okay. up, up on top. That. No problem. Ah, I was trying to avoid the border. All right, so let's grab the truck. Hopefully I could lift it up with this thing. Make sure you take a good inventory count on what you got. Oh, we'll be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got it. Perfect. A little heavy. But looks like the truck can handle it. I'll watch out for your products. I don't want to knock it into the water or anything. Now, getting out of here is going to be a little bit of a challenge because with the car, I was barely able to make it up. I think I'm going to have to go forward. I'm going to try it backwards, though. Can we make it? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, so close, so close, so close, so close. We got it. Let's go. Imagine if I dropped this on his truck. You'd be pissed. That was very close. All right, so we're good to go. Let's try to get out of here, maneuver, watch out for these power lines. 
And I'm going to try to sit this onto the trailer. Now, this thing is a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. So I'm hoping I can fit this plus my loader. I may have to get a little bit creative and figure something out, but hopefully everything fits. Oh my goodness. Oh, whoa. Look how close I was to destroying my truck. That was about to be bad. Okay. Let's go this way. Let's go that way and knock down the mailbox, but it's okay. Now I want to put it on the back of the trailer, but I think I'm going to have to pick it up from the other side. So I'm going to quickly drop it here and hopefully no traffic comes and then we'll grab it from the other side. So yeah, the plan is to pick it up and if I could just put it just onto the back part of the trailer, I may be able to fit my loader on the front side. I don't know. It's going to be very tight, but let's give it a try and see what happens. Tilting it down, up it, down. And I think right there should be good. So let's drop it down and it's on. Now we just need it to stay right there. Do not move. We got to go fast because it's rolling. All right, guys, we got it. Threw some chains on this bad boy. Got it locked down. It's literally on the back of the trailer, but hopefully that's enough space. So let's see if the loader would fits now. And we got that out. Now, the moment of truth. Will this thing fit? I'm going to try to just put the arm up and place it into the bed of the truck. But we got to be careful because we do not want to flip anything over because that would make this much more difficult. But it looks like we're going to be good, guys. All I got to do is move it up just a little bit more and we'll put the arm down. Oh, this thing fits like a glove, guys. I haven't seen anything fit that good since OJ. That is perfect. That's what I'm talking about. So now we will put that back up. And let's just take a look at this one more time. We got the loader. We got the arm inside. Like, look how close that is, guys. That is crazy. This thing worked out perfect. Now we can hop back in the truck and get everything back to the shop. And I'm going to give John a call. Hopefully he's around and he can help us start working on this thing because we're going to have to repair it. And once we repair it, we got to take it out into the uh, mountains and recover that vehicle that made me crash my other tow truck. So we still have a lot of work to get done today, guys, but hopefully we can get everything done in one day. So let's head back to our shop got a little bit of weight now that we're carrying two trucks but nothing that we can't handle and just taking a look at this vehicle guys this is gonna oh that was close this is gonna be a perfect off-road vehicle we just got to do some work to it we got to get it running get some winch ends on it and i'm pretty sure this will be able to tow just about anything that ends up crashing off-road i'm so excited i cannot wait to see it once it's done and we made it back to the city. We're pulling in from the other side of the shop, but I'm gonna take everything inside and hopefully John can work on this stuff and get it done today because we are on a strict time schedule. And I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to make this turn. I don't think I'm gonna make it, hold up. Let's back up and try this again. We're gonna have to go very wide so we don't knock out any poles. Who thinks we're going to be able to make this uh, a little too wide? What? I think I got it. Uh, here's a question. Will the trailer make it? And we'll... Uh, uh, bup. Okay, it's, it's okay. We can fix that. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. So we're going to place this trailer right here. Try not to hit the building. And this truck can go back inside for now. Back into bay number three. Wow, I parked this thing very close to the warehouse. Should be okay though. So let's hop into the loader and get everything unloaded and into the shop. Carefully slid under it and lift it up. Let's get it off the trailer now. I'm being very careful so we don't hit the building. Now I'm gonna attempt to put it into bay number two, but I don't think it's gonna open. So I'm gonna have to go in backwards. 
And hopefully the automatic door doesn't shut on the truck. We got to do this fast. Perfect. We cleared it. So we'll place it down right there. And this loader can go back outside until we need it for the next project. Sounds good. Thank you. So I just got off the phone with John. He said he repaired the Sand King flatbed for us already, which is awesome because we've only been gone for about an hour and he was able to take care of it. So let's take a look at it and see. And it looks like it's brand new again. Look at that. John came through, repaired all the panels, bodies looking good. That is perfect. Now he said he should be back in a little while. He had to run to the store to get something. But once he comes back, I'll have him take a look at the truck and then he can tell me what we need for this thing. Um, I know we're going to need tires though, because this thing is kind of, uh, yeah, tires look kind of deflated there and the suspension is kind of out of whack now let's actually take a look at the bottom too yeah this whole thing is rusted out we're gonna have to change out the suspension put a new lift kit on it all wheel drive kit change out the drive shafts every everything has to get changed on this thing so my mechanic gave me the list of everything that we're gonna need and boy it's a lot of parts guys so we are gonna be busy first thing we're gonna need is a lot of aluminum panels because we got to replace all of this rust this is like terrible all of this stuff needs to be changed because if we get in there we're probably gonna get tetanus and we don't want to get that so we're gonna change all of that out we also gonna have to change the roll bars out um, tires we do have tires in stock on the other side of the shop so that's perfect we're gonna need a new fuel um, container new battery container like I said earlier the suspension needs to be changed unfortunately the engine obviously got destroyed since this thing was submerged so we're gonna need a new v10 engine and what else do we need all-wheel drive and there was something else he said something back here oh yeah he said the winch was busted too which really sucks so most of these parts we do have in stock actually so we are gonna be able to use whatever we have but some of the stuff we may have to run around town and try to pick it up so let's see what we have in stock first and then we will go from there so we do have the aluminum in stock. We have about 15 of those. We may need to grab some more. We also have the V10 engine in stock, so that's perfect. Uh, what else did he say we need? We need to look for a lifted kit lower. Here we go, lifted. So we have the lift kit in stock. Might as well put some good brakes on there too. So I think we'll go ahead and get that. And we need all wheel drive, all wheel drive. Where is all wheel drive at? all wheel drive perfect so we have the all wheel drive in stock and the last thing we need is the winch we do have one but we need more of a heavy duty winch now what i'm thinking is i don't have any of the heavy duty ones in stock but i have an idea of how i can get one so we're gonna run to the junkyard pick one up and then we'll come back so in the meantime john can work on the truck since we have everything in stock and i'll run to the junkyard and let's see what vehicle should we take Let's take this truck. We haven't really used this truck yet, and I'm pretty sure you guys would like it. So let's head out and see if we could get lucky at the junkyard. Made it to the junkyard, and I really hope we can find something that we can use for this off-road tow truck. We're going to keep our eyes open and see. There's a tank, but that's not going to be useful. There's a bus over there. We got pipes. I need something with, like or a crane or a winch like something that could lift stuff up into the air that would be perfect they got a semi truck over there oh wait guys look at this a old tow truck i haven't seen one of these in like 40 years or so this thing is old it's in pretty rough condition but whoa gotta be careful in here but the winch seems to be okay. You know what? I think if we could cut this off, we could attach this to our truck and then this would be perfect for our off-road recovery. Let me see how much they want for this thing. Um, let's look at the interior. Oh man, it looks nasty in there. I'm gonna offer them like $2,000. Let me see if they'll take it. 2,000, 
didn't work out, but I was able to get it for $4,000. It's a little bit more than I wanted to pay, especially since I don't even need the whole thing, but maybe we'll end up keeping it and maybe I could restore it at another time. I don't know. But anyway, we got the truck for $4,000. So let's hook up to it and tow it back to the shop. Now, this truck that I brought is kind of overkill. I honestly could have put this little thing on a flatbed, but I wasn't really sure what they was going to have, so I just figured I'll bring my big truck just in case. Okay, it looks like we got it. Let's try to pull it out. Nice and easy. Perfect. That's, that is a pretty nice tow truck, though. It's old, but it's like a classic, you know? It's nice. So let's get this back to the shop and see if we could you know take it apart and hook it up to our truck made it to the shop so we'll just drop this thing off right here and i'm thinking i could probably drive it in if not i could use the loader to take it in went ahead and picked it up with the loader and now we're gonna place it inside of bay number two and we'll place it down right there so john said it's gonna take him unfortunately longer than today to get it done but that's fine it is a lot of work he has to do so we're gonna let him do what he has to do and if he needs any other parts we'll run to the store and grab them but all we got to do now is just wait and see what happens so it's the next day and i just picked up this police car it got into a little bit of a wreck it was like a crazy police chase or whatever and we have to try to fix it but anyway John called me and he said the vehicle is complete. The new off-road wrecker is complete. So we're gonna go check it out for the first time. And I am super excited to see this thing. So first we have to get rid of this police car and I'll probably just throw it in bay number one. Don't mind the floating. We're using Bluetooth straps today, which helps keep this thing super secure. No chains needed as you guys can see but man this thing took a lot of damage so we'll let miguel and his two brothers handle this car for us and yeah let's take a look at the wrecker i am super excited to see this thing and that's not it that's the old one. Oh yeah it was in number two here we go guys look wait where did it go what the heck he said it was ready. Is it over here? I don't see it anywhere. What the heck? The shop is empty. Let me let me call him and see what's going on. So I just got off the phone with him. He said Nathan was messing with the truck. And you guys know Nathan, he's kind of been out for a little while. But he must have came by and he's working on something. Normally he does like all the paint and the body work and stuff. So I would imagine he'll be over here what the heck wow okay it wasn't supposed to be lime green i guess nathan decided to wrap it but that does look pretty cool i'm not gonna lie look how this thing is looking man john did his thing we got a new new everything the suspension the tires oh my goodness look at this thing guys everything's chromed out and brand new it was so rusty and destroyed on the last one even the containers okay guys so i guess i gotta thank both of them john did his thing on this but then nathan surprised me and he wrapped the entire truck in lime green i mean normally we do red but i mean this is kind of like a specialized off-road vehicle so you know maybe it should have its own color let me know what you guys think about it should we make it red or should we leave it green but this thing looks like a beast oh my goodness look at that and i can't believe the suspension everything looks so much better even the battery covers and everything oh whoa that was close i forgot that was there so now what we have to do guys is take this to the mountain so that we can recover that vehicle that i was telling you guys about that's in a very bad place so let's put this up here this thing looks great guys so what we're gonna do now is use some real chains we do not want this thing to come off so we're gonna chain it down on all four sides and i'm excited man i am so so excited let's also put this back on make sure we take care of this side 
And we're looking good. Perfect. So now I need to find my semi truck because I noticed earlier it is not in here. Only the white one is in here. So let me find my truck. Found it. Somebody left it over here. So we're going to head over to the other side, hook up to the trailer, and then we'll start the real adventure of today, which is going to be recovering that vehicle that I've been telling you guys about all day. And it all starts with us having this new off-road wrecker, which I completely miss. Time to hit the road. Uh-oh. Yo, I'm always having trouble not cutting these turns properly. The yard is pretty big, but you know, we still gotta remember to be careful. We don't wanna mess up any of our vehicles and it looks like we cleared it. So let's head up north. I gotta jump on the highway and then you guys would see the problem that I've been dealing with for the last 48 hours. So we made it up here to the uh, mountain range area and this is where I'm going to have to unload our vehicle because I'm not going to be able to go any further with this semi truck. So let's park this right here and let's get the new wrecker unloaded. I cannot wait to see how this thing handles this off-road area. So we got the vehicle unloaded and let's give it a try. now. I was able to make it this far with the flatbed, but like, I'll, I'll show you guys where things went bad. Apparently this guy and his girlfriend, he was hiking and they, they were like in a really remote area, not hiking, camping, I'm sorry. They had like some type of like one of those small vans. He said he converted a van into a camper. So I was trying to get up here with the flatbed and we made it pretty far, but then I hit something and that's when we kind of just started sliding back down the hill and things got ugly. But as you guys can see, this new truck is handling this outdoor or this rough, um, wow. How did this car get here? I'm over here talking about how hard it was for my tow truck to get up here. And this little emperor got up here with no problem. <laughs> but yeah, as you guys can see, this is a campsite, but I believe where we're going is a little bit further. We got to get all the way up here. And the terrain is about to get very nasty. As you guys can see, we got to get over that. Come on. And this is a good time to put my seatbelt on because if I go down, it is not going to be pretty. Now we got to make our way all the way up here. Are those stairs? This isn't even a trail for vehicles. Like, what was that guy doing over here? This is a walking trail that we're on, guys. This truck is so awesome. Look at the suspension. So cool. All right, we got to pay attention. I did not want to accidentally kill myself. Go up the side of the mountain. Straight on up. We going vertical. Oh my god. Whoa. Okay, I gotta stop. I gotta really be careful here. Cause I'm in a bad place. Like if something goes wrong, I'm by myself and I could really die. So let's take this serious. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh oh, uh oh, come on, stop, stop, stop. We're not stopping, we're not stopping. Okay, we stop. But I don't have enough power to get up. Come on. Oh, man. Whew. That was close. And the guy said he's somewhere like in the far north corner and he's near the water, which really makes me think how he got his van all the way up here. We are literally on top of a mountain right now. This is so crazy. Now we gotta go back down. Where the heck is this guy at? He did tell me that he had to abandon the vehicle and they kind of just walked out on foot. Oh, we're two wheeling it. Where are we, man? Oh my God, we gotta go all, okay. I gotta find a better way out of here because there's no way I could tow a back this way we just came depending on how big it is wait i see something over there is that a vehicle or is that a bush i think that's a bush but there's some type of house over there so i think we are getting close 
Oh, our fuel is low. That's not good. I do have some jerry cans on me, so I'll be able to use those. But we need to keep our eyes open for this vehicle. It could be anywhere. Oh, boy. Oh, I see it. We found it. Perfect. That's it. But that's not a van. That's a full on RV. He told me he had a van. He didn't say nothing about an RV and a trailer. Oh, I'm going to have to charge him some more money. Let's get out and take a look at this. I'm going to call him just to make sure this is his vehicle. I don't want to take the wrong vehicle. Okay, cool. So I got off the phone with the guy. He did confirm it is a Sand King. And yeah, he told me originally it was a van. So I got to tow this and the trailer out of here somehow. Apparently what happened a couple weeks ago when it was snowing, he was up on that road and he kind of just slid down and got stuck here. And he's been stuck here ever since. Now, luckily for him, it doesn't appear to be much damage, if anything. So that's good. Um, hopefully we can get it out of here in the same way. Now, this thing is going to be too big to get into the bed of our truck like I originally planned. So I'm going to have to just winch it out of here. I did tell him that, you know, it may end up getting damaged and he's just going to have to like kind of assume that liability. So we're going to pull the winch from our truck and attach it to the front of the Sand King RV. And hopefully we can pull this thing out of here. It's going to be very difficult, but I'm hoping for the best here. There we go. That's not a good sign, guys. Okay, okay, we got it. Now, how do we get it out of here? I don't know if I can make it back up the way we came. We may have to find a new way out. Oh, I gotta make sure we don't get wrapped up around these trees, too. We are struggling, but we are... Nope, we're stuck. We got to find another way out of here, guys. This area is way too steep. And we built this truck as well as we can, but I wasn't expecting to be pulling an RV today. So maybe I didn't build it as strong as possible. Guys, I've been struggling with this thing for about 10 minutes, but I think I finally may have found a route to get us out of here. But I hope I don't get stuck in these trees. I don't even want to turn. I'm just going to go straight. Clear that tree and then we'll turn here. Man, that was hard, guys. It was very, very hard to get this out. Like, you guys don't even understand. This is ridiculous. I'm about to charge the guy, like, three times what I was planning to charge him. Because he did not say it was this far out here. And he did not say it was a whole... RV like this is crazy. So oh god, uh oh uh oh uh oh. Oh no, come on, come on, stay on the road, stay on the road, stay on the road, stay on the road. Oh boy. I could easily die. Like this this is not good guys. This is terrible. I'm so worried. I think we're halfway out of here though. We just got to make sure we don't make any silly mistakes. Oh, it's sliding. Don't slide. Don't slide. Don't slide. Because if we slide, it is a very long way down. Yo, look how steep this area that we're climbing. This is ridiculous. Okay, we made it back to that station area. I think from here, we just have to go down, which is easier said than done. Watch out, bunny. I don't want to kill you. Uh-oh. This isn't good. Since we're only using a rope, I don't really have much control of this thing. It's going to want to, like, go down on its own, and that's not good. Oh, that's really steep. I don't even want to turn, though. I could try to turn, but I'm worried it's going to flip, so we're just going to have to do it, guys. It's the only way. Okay, we made it. We lost the trailer, but that's okay. I could go back up there and grab it. That should be easy to bring down. Now, as far as the RV, it did sustain a lot of damage. But like I said, the guy kind of signed a waiver, so that's perfectly okay. Not our responsibility. 
well it is but it isn't but anyway let's not drive the wrong way in front of a highway patrol station because that could lead us to getting arrested but we made it back to our truck and there's no way all of this is gonna fit i'm probably gonna have to call in another truck to help me tow this back to the shop let's get this disconnected like i said that thing took a lot of damage but we had to do what we had to do now we're gonna go back up there and look for the trailer i honestly don't even know where it fell off at but hopefully we can find it on our way back down and we found the trailer i'm just dragging it behind me this was the way i wanted to come down with the rv but unfortunately the rv had other plans and that kind of turned into a, a little bit of a disaster back there you know what let's go around on the left side perfect we got it so we're gonna have to try something a little bit sketchy because I wasn't able to get any of my drivers to bring another truck up. So because of that, we're gonna have to risk it. And I'm gonna just try to pop this up here and push it back as far as I can. And we'll lock it down. Now I'm gonna try to put my wrecker on the front. And then as far as the trailer, if I could lift it up somehow, I could put it in, a, in the bed of this. If not, I'm going to have to try to attach it to my trailer. I'm going to have to figure something out. Well, I was able to get another two feet or so. So let's see if that's enough for the green truck to fit on. I got it as close as I can. Let's see. Oh, we're good. It fits, guys. We got lucky two times in a row today. So all we got to worry about is the trailer. Now, I don't recommend you guys do this because I'm pretty sure it's illegal and we're going to end up getting into some serious trouble. But what I'm going to do is attach this to the trailer. And I'm going to try to just pull it as close as I can and then hopefully it will be okay. So we did it, guys. We're pulling everything the rv is like sideways but i put extra chains on it so hopefully it will be okay but yeah we got everything uh, we are now heading back to the shops kind of sparking up the road a little bit but should be okay hopefully as long as we do not get pulled over by the cops because this will be very hard to explain what we're doing here so we made it back to the shop and as you guys can see the sand king is in terrible condition and i kind of feel bad man i mean i know i told the customer that he would be liable if anything goes wrong but i kind of feel a little responsible you know i didn't have the correct equipment i tried to build a really good off road recovery vehicle but i wasn't really prepared to recover something this big and from that steep of a location so i do feel like i should take some of the blame let me know what you guys think um but yeah i think we're just gonna try to fix this for the customer and just help them out you know maybe we'll make a youtube video about it and maybe it'll i don't know work out in the end but yeah let's check out this rv we can actually go inside look at that this is cool can we pop out the slides? We got storage. Press to open the storage. I probably shouldn't do this inside because there's not much space here. But yeah, it's a, it's a cool RV. I think I'm going to let the customer know we'll uh, take care of all the damages for them. And I'll see if John can fix it. Hopefully we have everything in stock. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what I should do next. But more importantly, click right here to watch me use our new off-road wrecker to recover another vehicle that is in a terrible place. And then we're going to turn that vehicle into a semi-truck, believe it or not. Click here to watch and I'll see you guys over there.